Hi, uh, good morning everybody. Uh, welcome to TWR Facebook Live. Um, so I am very happy to be here this morning um, and also uh, to continue uh, with our teaching and conversation. So this is the second part uh, of uh, the Facebook Live in the serials. Um, so last time we talked about that you are not your pain and uh, we also had a, a number of uh, uh, questions, the wonderful questions that people have sent, sent to send me and I try to answer some of those questions. I'm sure, I'm sorry to not able to answer all the questions and old, also uh, comment back on a beautiful, beautiful uh, feedbacks that many, many people have sent. And particularly, it's uh, so uh, amazing to see the immediate uh, sense of benefit that uh, people are uh, feeling with the, as even a short and simple exercises. Uh, people are sharing how, how beautiful they felt and how some of the pain or able to overcome their pain, able to sleep better and so on. So many, many beautiful comments. So I truly appreciate uh, all those comments. It's like a um, um, uh, fuel for me that it gives me energy, inspiration to do, uh, to put all effort that I put trying to help people just ongoing all the time fire, my fire comes from those inspirations or those comments. So thank you. And so today we are going to talk about, uh, today's uh, topic here will be an introduction to your eternal body. So first let me uh, say a few words, okay? So if you, if you are not your pain, if you are not your pain, then the obviously simple question will be, uh, who who are you? Who am I? Uh, so that's uh, probably the most important uh, spiritual question that every spiritual tradition asks. Who am I? So uh, so we talk about not being the pain. Then who am I? And very often uh, in in like in tra tradition of great perfection, like it's Dzogchen tradition, uh, we say when we. Uh, when we leave the body of samsara, when we achieve the liberation, uh, enlightenment, what we achieve is we achieve a full manifestation of three kaya, kusum, dharma kaya, sambhoga kaya, nirmana kaya, and phunku, uh, uh, zoku, truku. Uh, this kusum, basically kusum, is what we say we achieve. So that is who you are. And uh, particularly, um, so if I talk that in a very simple way, eternal body will be the inseparable state of uh, that space and awareness, inseparable state of that uh, sacred space and the pure awareness. Or uh, you are that inseparable state of that space and light. Um, you are that union of that space and light or pure emptiness and clarity, whichever ways you wanted to call it, you whichever way it's easy to understand. But I wanted to talk a little bit more experiential base, experience base here. So so who you are is basically um, that just pure space and pure awareness. Let me give a few examples. Um, it's like... Um, are you cloud? Are you dark cloud? Are you storm? Are you bad weather? Are you rain? Are you f flooding, muds that cr rain creates? Are you any of them? So no, I'm not. I, I am none of them. So then, who who am I in terms of this metaphor? I am infinite, uh, a clear sky. I am uh, that boundless, clear sky, and then I am 
Um, I'm not that darkness in that sky, but then I am the infinite light in that sky. So who am, who am I? I am that uh, in unbounded sacred sky. I am infinite, ceaseless, uh, pervasive light. So who, that, that is who, who am I say, who I am. So basically, in, that's kind of metaphor. Let me give example. Very many times, people there is a tendency to identify with their um, wounds, with their pain, with their weakness, with their conditions. People identify that. I always give example. A friend of mine who who said one time that he said, "Oh, I began to." Um, understand about myself better with this new relationship. I said, why? And then he said, this new relationship, it's uh, unlike the one before, which was many years, very stable. This has so much like uh, uh, stirring up my older weakness and emotion, particularly my jealousy. I did not realize how jealous person I am. So, so basically what he's saying he began to feel, he began to realize himself because he, he began to feel he's jealous. So in some sense, of course, that's okay to, uh, okay to be, uh, be closer, you're trying to feel that you're getting closer to yourself because you're discovering your conditions. But I don't think that's the way this person is explaining. The way this person is explaining is kind of more identifying with that weakness, jealous. I am jealous. Uh, I begin to know myself better because I f I am jealous. So so je condition jealousy. It's not you. Your emotion. It's not you. Your pain. It's not you. Your sickness. It's not you. These are experiences that you are having, and and when you identify too much with experiences that you are having and you get stuck in those experiences and you, you lose this infinite possibility that what you as individual uh, have potentiality that you have, you begin to lose that. So maybe I will talk a little bit about this one thing here is that let's talk about this, this sense of uh, 3R, okay, the letter R um, or A. It's um, R is the sound of space element. Uh, we say A Om. A is the sound of space element. Om is the sound of awareness, the clarity. Or A is the sound of emptiness. Om is sound of awareness, clarity. So let's talk about this a little bit too. So first, in our experiences. Uh, so in our experiences, Think about self awareness of self perception. Think about this very moment. I want you to really relax your body, relax your breath, breathe deep, and uh, feel grounded, and just bring your awareness in yourself. Uh, this moment, uh, each one of you, bring awareness in yourself and see. This is the question: How? Awareness of perception of self. How you perceive yourself. Who are you? Do you identify with your nationality, your sex, your titles, your skills, your job, your possessions, your pain, your conflict, your problem? What do you identify with? Or what do you identify most with? So that's a good question, right? So I want, I'm, I am sure that each one of you have a different, no one person is the same. So awareness of perception of self. That is really, really critical and very, very important because everything that the way you see the world, the way you interact with the world, uh, where you what you do in the world, how you impact the world, all has something to do with perception of self. Neuroscience, that people talk about, you know, perception, like, you know, when you're perceiving the mountain, in you know, a high mountain, 
and you are looking at the mountain, high mountain, and then when you carry a big heavy bag, carrying a big heavy bag on your bag, um, and then that very moment, the weight of that bag uh, increases the height of the mountain. So, <sighs> immediately mountain goes higher up. So the weight immediately changes the perception of self that changes what you're perceiving, the height of the mountain. Let's give another example. So, so let's look at the mountain. And then if you see how, you, how you're feeling. So if you are open to it, then if you are open, if you are aware, then these are the moment uh, things are begin to shift. So perception basically changes. If you're feeling heavy, this, the height of mountain changes. The world changes. If you're feeling light, the world changes. If you're feeling open, the world changes in a different way. So, so let's think about this sense of self-perception. How do you feel this very moment, how you perceive yourself? So, for example, your ability to do things in the world, your ability to even negotiate, your ability to function well, and everything has something to do with how you perceive yourself. So, please just bring a little attention to yourself. How do you perceive yourself? That's the question number one. First, ah, first awareness. Awareness or perception of self. And later, I want each one of you, if you're brave enough, I want you to really genuinely share. You know, just say, okay, I feel, I feel this. My, I, I perceive myself very, very identify with the nationality, or I really identify with the sex. I really identify with my title. Whatever that is, I would like to hear some genuine feedback there. Second, the awareness of feeling of self. Let's talk about that. So how do you, not how you perceive, your perception will produce some feeling and some emotions, how, how you are feeling. How do, how do you feel? Do you feel open? Very open? Close? Very close? Do you feel happy? Very happy? Sad? Very sad? Do you feel a warmth in yourself? Are you relaxed or you feel warm towards somebody? How do you feel? So the awareness of feeling in yourself, which also some sense coming from how you perceive yourself. Because if, you're, if you feel very open, if you very, feel very lot of warmth, uh, for sure you will be feeling great. You will be feeling happy. You will feel that in, a, in your body. Third, and the last one, the awareness of action, the awareness of your conduct, awareness of what you're doing. That is obviously much easier, right? So if, I, um, if, if I'm really identified with anger, my most of the most, imagine, think about one person that in your life who, who really identify who is kind of body of anger? Think about that. Or think about somebody who is body of jealousy. Who, who think about somebody who is body of pain. Who is think think about somebody who is the body of pain. Who is body of conflict. One body of specific uh, emotion that person is. Think about that. And that person does not know, but you can clearly see that. And person is feeling that also. Now. If that person does not know that I really, I am a body of anger, I feel so much angry, but at least person have more chances to be aware when I, when I destroy something, when I uh, hit someone, when I break something, when I hurt somebody, when somebody respond back to me saying, you hurt me, you have destroyed me, whatever some responses, a strong 
obvious responses back to you saying, stop. And it's almost like impossible not to notice that somebody reacting that way. That helps you to notice your action. And then you notice your action is the action of pain, action of anger, action of jealousy, action of ignorance, action of fear, action of negative emotion. So recognizing through the action. So you have some sense of ability to recognize through action what you, what you are feeling, through feeling how you perceive yourself and through your perception of yourself and then some way realizing, no, that is not who I am. That is not who I am. I am not my anger. I am not my pain. I am not. So through the practices, I'm not going to talk more about that, through the previous, some of the exercises we did, through that exercises, able to feel a little bit more space, a little more space. So even, for example, even when you are someone who have never been aware of any of these three awarenesses that I'm talking, no awareness in action of self, no awareness in action, I say feeling of self, no awareness of perception of self, but someone now began to at least begin to experience uh, some awareness through action of oneself. Then gradually in the, through the feeling of oneself, then gradually able to have some glimpse of uh, this sense, this sense of, sense of perception of self. And then everything is dependent on that. So world that you see is so much created out of or how the world that you are interacting with, that interaction is created out of perception of self. So the question is not what you see or how you act, question of how you perceive yourself. If, you, if your perception of self can change, you can change how you feel, you can change how you think, you can feel change, you're able to change your emotion, and therefore, naturally, you will be able to change your behavior, your conduct, your action. So, of course, we are all, sometimes uh, many uh, mainstream psychology or many kind of theories about trying to impact conduct, uh, addictions, for example. Addiction is kind of one of the conducts in one, some sense. So, trying to change addictions or trying to change conduct is... You cannot really force to change conduct. You cannot really force to change addictions. You have to change how you feel about that. You have to change how you perceive your relation to that. For example, uh, easy, it's, it's, it's easier to get rid of cigarette, but it's harder to get rid of smoker. It's easier to get rid of alcohol, but it's harder to get rid of alcoholic person. So here, the perception of alcoholic or perception of smoker, that sense of I am smoker, I am alcoholic, I am addicted to those pains, through those pains I become as alcoholic. So those deeper level of identity as a self-perception, it's fundamentally it's important to change. But I think sometimes there are a lot of people who put too much effort in changing conduct and behavior, I think you have much less chances of having some success there because it in the end has something to do with self-realization. I think that's a very, very important part. So summarizing these three things, awareness of perception of self, awareness of uh, feeling of self, awareness of action of oneself. So these three awareness, in sequence, obviously, the action is easier to be aware of, feeling is, is less easier to be aware of, perception of self is much harder to be aware of, but that sequence is important because if somebody have a difficult to be aware, then you start with the action, recognize your actions. And if you even you're having difficult recognizing your action, at least acknowledge other people's feedback, right? And think about the feedback. We, we get so much hurt by other people's feed, feedback. Uh, 
you feel, oh, this, that person judges me. That person is um, uh, criticizing me. Uh, that person is, um, oh, yeah, basically what we do that. So sometimes I think just to be a little bit more open, think about that if somebody is in professional world, we have critics, um, movie critics, food critics, and um, any all kind of critics. We have all the cons consulting companies, so many consulting companies. Basically, all these professions, what they do, they, they're just kind of, they're trying to criticize you in some sense, right? I'm, I'm, it's not a negative sense, but they're trying to positively criticize you, saying you're doing this, this is not right. You could do this, or you could do the same way, but not that this way, that way. So they basically, you pay so much money to somebody to have critical mind over you. But when somebody is doing freely, having some giving feedback for free, just think, take it positively. Okay, thank you. But if you truly know what um, critic they have toward you has no basis, then you don't have anything to worry about, right? You say just, just let it go. Not even pay attention. Not spend one single moment, waste one single moment your precious mind thinking about those things. Don't spend one moment of your biological psychological energy investing on those uh, nonsense talks. Just let it go. So you just don't engage. If there is something to take, then you see how I can change. Because that, that's the feedback. And that means you done something, probably not right, then maybe you're, you did something because you're feeling something. You're feeling something because you have sense, sense of self-perception which is much harder to be aware, but at least this is what we are trying to, trying to be conscious, trying to be, at least be interested. I think that's what we are trying to do. So, okay, let's, let's conclude a little bit here, sense. I am not my pain. I am not my negative emotions. I am not my actions. I am not my possessions. Then who am I? I am that pure, unbounded space. So this moment, I want you to just a little bit feel that sense of you are, I am, the unbounded space. I am that unbounded, crystal clear sky in the desert. At least that image is helpful for a moment trying to be that. You are that unbounded, crystal clear sky in the desert. Unbounded, crystal clear sky in the desert. You are that sky. You are not that pain, not that emotion, but you are that pure awareness. You are that pure presence of that unbounded sacred space. You are pure awareness of that unbounded clear sky. You are not the products like sickness or possessions, your belongings, you are manifesting the warmth, the joy, the love, the compassion from that space and from that light. The pure expression of that space and light, it's also you. It's like Nirmanakaya. It's like your manifestation, your pure 
manifestational. You are that. You are not manifestation of ignorance and anger, such as pain. You are not that pain which is caused by anger and ignorance, but you are that joy caused, uh, I say, gave, gave a, given a birth by that love and that space, that awareness. You are that love. I know that in in our everyday and ordinary life we don't talk about I am that space, you know, or I am that light, or I am that warmth. We don't say I am that Dharmakaya, I am that Sambhogakaya, I am that Nirmanakaya, I am that Tri Kayas. We don't say that. But according to the Dzogchen, you are essence of those three kayas. You are not trying to achieve those three kayas. You are trying to realize those three kayas are perfected in you. You are not trying to make those three dimensions. You are trying to realize the three dimensions or three bodies. You are not trying to find or make or put effort trying to explore this, this eternal body. You are trying to discover and uh, self-realize that eternal sacred body, who you are. Okay, so I think we are going to conclude with a short meditation. So I want everybody to, um, uh, just for a moment, uh, s stop looking at the messages and uh, stop clicking things or stop typing things for a moment or maybe at least see who is typing, <laughs> who is clicking, who is noticing. Okay, so just for a moment bring your full attention to your body. You bring your full attention to the stillness in your body. So that you will be able to access that unbounded space. Bring your full attention to the silence of the speech or feel that silence so that you will able to access the pure awareness. You're trying to bring full awareness to the spaciousness of your mind so that you will able to access genuine warmth qualities. Breathe deep, breathe maybe twice long, and every time when you felt you have had enough inhale, maybe there's a little left, inhale that complete. When you exhale, maybe when you think I have completed exhalation, maybe there's a little more left to exhale, exhale that. And each time rest deeper with the exhalation, feel stronger with inhalation. or more alert with inhalation, more awakened with inhalation.
and those you feel certain higher level of discomfort or pain in the body, in motion, just use the breath as a way of clearing it. So allow to breathe from that place and allow to allow the breath to clear those discomfort and pain. Active breathing from those locations. So those you are familiar with the three channels in your body, just for a moment feel the presence of three channels in your body. The white channel and right, it's clear, open, illuminated. Left channel, the red, it's clear, open, illuminated. The most important channel the blue channel in the center of your body, clear, open, illuminated. That means the center of your body is open, clear, illuminated. It also means some sense your body it's space, that sacred space, that pure light, the pure awareness, the pure warmth. You are this moment, that pure space. You are that sacred space. You are that pure light. You are that pure warmth. It's not like you are perceiving yourself that maybe you are, and that is okay, but you are realizing that you are self-realization self of that pure space, self-realization of that awareness, self-realization of that qualities and warmth. Now this moment, since you are that sense, there is a sense of space, there is a sense of light, awareness, the sense of warmth, it has a power to change and transform, that awareness has a power to change and transform. Now you're stronger, therefore for a moment reflect current challenging feeling, emotions, situations, person, whatever it is, just more simpler, more one-pointed, one bring into a conscious, such as like your emotion, like anger, just be aware or sadness, whatever emotion you are experiencing this moment, bring into a conscious, into awareness. 
bring that feeling into awareness. Realize that is not you, but you are feeling it. It's manifesting in you. Accommodate in that space, in that awareness, in that warmth, or host, host in that space, in that awareness, in that warmth. Or give a spacious, luminous, warm hug to that emotion, that pain. Feel the support of all the enlightened beings, all the teachers, and all the support that you have in your life. Be conscious, be aware of them, and particularly be aware of our sacred cyber sangha, the sacred cyber sangha. All around the world, this very moment, we are in the same space, same awareness, same warmth, we are connected through that. And that connection is empowering each other. When you are aware of that connection, you are receiving it. You are supported by it. Okay, so now if you uh, look at inside what happened is that in a experience here is that you whatever you have hosted your feeling your pain you can see the power of that awareness it dissolves when it dissolves what happens it dissolves in that space before presence of that pain obscuring that space when that pain dissolves, the space is very clearly shines. In the presence of that space you feel very clear. So that space it's you. That's, that there's not only that space, but there is a recognition and awareness and presence of that space. That is the inner light. That is you. When you are familiar enough, you begin to feel a different sense of self, a new sense of you, a fresh sense of you, a potential sense of you. You begin to feel qualities in that, such as joy, a pure joy, a joy of being, a joy which is completely open, joy which is completely illuminated, basically joy which is that space, and that awareness is just dynamic energy manifesting as a joy. It's nothing less than, how you say, uh, it's not different than that space, it's not different than that awareness. It is that joy is that sacred space. Joy is that warmth. Therefore, even the experience of joy is you. So you are that space, you are that awareness, and you are that joy. That's who you are. So 
enjoy with that new sense of yourself okay thank you and uh, now uh, maybe sh for the short moment I would like now you can uh, click whatever you wanted to click and and also if there are if you wanted to share the experiences what you are having um, what were well, the experiences that what you have this very moment I would like to hear so the sense of of course you can have very clear a sense of who you are and also you can have a clear sense of uh, recognizing who you are not that's also beautiful when you really really realize that who you are not it is a very very good beginning and then uh, you realize how much energy time you have wasted in someone who who you are not that those recognitions are beautiful and then that's a good good kind of way of beginning to understand a little bit more sense of a true sense of self so so i think um and whenever there is a little bit more uh, connection to the true sense of self and then everything else just happened by itself beautifully because universe inner intelligence knows exactly uh, how to display out pure uh, elemental energies in the world for benefit of others okay so thank you um so uh, all your feedbacks are coming in yeah so uh, you know i know like many of you are thanking here i also wanted to thank all of you uh, those who are uh, continuously participating your participation is my my fire uh, my inspiration and you are sharing with other people um it's like a kind of you're opening i'm opening me and you're opening yourself to opening to others so one openness one openness it's like a little lamp and it opens another lamp it opens another lamp it's like a one candle kind of becoming a cause of lightning many 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 thousands of candles to illuminate uh the bring the light so uh, thank you thank you thank you and particularly thank you all all of you who who have been sharing uh with other people uh, who have been helping the outreach so i'm really really very excited uh to using this facebook live we have a great team and we are um, finding uh, trying to talk a lot share a lot, lot among our team among ourselves how to uh, do better and better and better each time in terms of the outreach in terms of the trying to kind of reach you each individual sense reach you so so it's you know sometimes we talk about space sometimes we talk about cyber sangha then of course uh, it has to sometime come has to come down to the local low level sometimes it has to come down to our family sometimes it has come down to you and sometimes it has to come down to not only you what you are experiencing this moment what is going through you in this moment uh, it's not about anything it's about you and how to help you so our interest is to just come down 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 deep in you on your level to find a way to support you and that's our goal our prayer and uh, we'll try each time we'll try to do that better and better so and and thank you all of you for your participation and so the next next um, uh, facebook live will be uh the it will be question and answer on uh this session the eternal body and uh, so i would recommend to trying to po post your questions and uh, comments and then um trying to keep it simple uh, so that uh, clear and simple so that it's easy to understand and uh, so thursday um next thursday which on same time 10 o'clock so let, sorry the 10 o'clock california time so what is it 
one o'clock. So one o'clock uh, New York time. So uh, I mean now by now you all know one of the reasons we're trying to keep the same time is so that everybody will remember it. Okay. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day, wonderful night, wonderful sleep, wonderful project, wonderful meeting, wonderful meal, whatever things you're doing, may they manifest from that space, awareness and warmth.